Hey my dear friends, in this video I want to talk with you about living in truth and sincerity. Well, for this I have a part out of the Bible, um, out of Colossians 3, the verses 1 to 17. For now I just want to um, read them without any comment. Therefore, if you were raised with Christ, look for the things that are above where Christ is sitting at God's right side. Think about the things above and not on earth, not the things on earth. You died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also be revealed with him in glory. So put to death the parts of your life that belong to the earth such as sexual immorality, moral corruption, lust, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. The wrath of God is coming upon disobedient people because of these things. You used to live this way when you were alive to these things. But now set aside these things, such as anger, rage, malice, slander, and absence language. Don't lie to each other. Take off the old human nature with its practices. And put on the new nature, which is renewed in knowledge by confirming to the image of the one who created it. In this image, there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised, nor uncircumcised, barbarian, slave, nor free, but Christ, is all things in all people. Therefore, as God's chosen one, holy and loved, put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, be tolerant with each other. If someone has a complaint against anyone, forgive each other. As the Lord forgave you, so also forgive each other. And over all these things put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. The peace of Christ must control your hearts, a peace into which you were called in one body. And be thankful, people. The word of Christ must live in you richly. Teach and warn each other with all wisdom by singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Whatever you do, whether in speech or action, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus and give thanks to God the Father through him. How overwhelming is it? How impressive that we are able to live a life like that. In him, through him, because we are a new creation. I am a new creation. I was born again of the choice that I want choose to live with him. So in this way, I'm able to live a new life through him. And I'm so thankful for that. Because of him, I'm able to live a life in truth and sincerity. I got the strength out of him to change my life. And I'm so thankful. And I want to encourage you to do the same, to be encouraged and to be lead or led by the spirit of truth, by the Holy Spirit. Christian brothers and sisters, follow the, the lead of um, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ to be able to live a life like that for the good, to share his glory, to, to live um, a life in, in, well, to live a life in the way he wanted it for you. A good life. Um, 
because he is good and he always wants the best for you. So we are able to live like that and it's just great to live in truth and sincerity. Well, I will encourage you to share the good news, share the video, whatever, and leave a comment below questions. I'm always happy to discuss about um, questions about faith or about Jesus or life itself, whatever. Yeah, I wish you the best and we'll see you the next time.